Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at something really cool which uh, you should have on your system if you've got more than one monitor, or if perhaps your desktop screen is actually the same color as your mouse pointer. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll take a look at a, uh, an actually a pretty cool way of finding your mouse cursor which is, uh, strangely enough, is becoming more and more problematic as time goes on. But it's one of those features that is in Windows, which was actually used to be activated, but no longer is for some bizarre reason. Now, if you are using a multiple monitor setup, or you've got a very kind of low contrast desktop, maybe you've got a white background, and maybe you've got a white mouse cursor, it can be really, really problematic, especially when you're using things like 4K or high resolution displays, you can easily lose your mouse. So let's go to the computer now and I'll show you an easy way of actually being able to find your mouse by just pressing one button. Okay, so first of all, go over to your computer. Now, it doesn't matter if it's Windows 10 or Windows 11, the, uh, the principles are pretty much exactly the same. So click on your start bar and in the top here, just type in mouse and it should come up with mouse settings. That is basically what you want, mouse settings. So go into system settings for the mouse and what you want to do is go into additional mouse settings, which is actually going to open up the old school Windows 7 type menus here. So then you're going to come up with your mouse properties. So we'll leave that up here. And essentially it's so easy to do. Literally all we do is go to pointer options. At the bottom here, you've got this section that says show location of pointer when I press the control key. Couldn't be simpler, could it? So all we do is put a tick box there, click apply, You'll get a little bit of a spinning cog for a couple of seconds. We can close this window down in the background. And now, so say for instance, I've got my mouse down here, where it's kind of, if I look obviously at the screen, I can't really see where it is. It isn't contrasty. So I'm gonna press the control button, press it again, and there you go. It homes in on where your mouse actually is. Now there is actually another version of this which you can get in the uh, Microsoft Power Toys app. Maybe we'll do an update video on that if there's enough people interested, but it basically does the same sort of thing, but it does require you to install MS Power Toys and is a little bit less convenient. If for some reason you don't like this and you don't like being able to find your mouse when you've got multiple monitors, quite easily just go over to that, click on apply again and press control and it does absolutely nothing. But because I use dual monitor sometimes and I'm forever losing my mouse, I'm gonna leave it enabled. So there you go, nice easy one for today. If you're regularly losing your mouse cursor, like I quite often do, I have two monitors. Now, unfortunately, my monitors are both kind of miles apart from each other. So one is there, one is there. They're both on white background, so I do lose my mouse quite frequently. So pressing the control key is gonna make life a lot easier for me. Let me know if it makes life easier for you. And also, if you've got any comments or questions on this video, you know where to do, put them in the bottom there. If you wanna see a video on the Microsoft Power Toys version of this same kind of principle, Again, let us know and we'll try and get that done in the future. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll be able to find you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.